Hello everybody, welcome back to another Halo modding tutorial and today we're going to be talking about how to create an entire new scenario for um, uh, Halo Combat Evolved using MCC because if you were to do this with uh, Halo Custom Edition it's incredibly easy to just make a brand new scenario. I've done it a thousand times. I don't think I've ever actually explained it but you just need to, for Custom Edition all you really need to do, go into levels, um, copy a map, I'm going to be focusing on campaign maps because that's where the, the problems come in. Uh, multiplayer maps, I think they're very similar in Custom Edition and um, MCC because there's no scripting. But the campaign maps, they have scripting, which becomes a problem later. But anyway, for Custom Edition, you would just copy whatever map. If we want to make a clone of Two Betrayals, copy C40, rename the folder to whatever, uh, open that folder that you copied, open the C40.scenario file in your copied folder in Sapien, then save as, and then name it the same name as your folder, as the copied folder, and then you should be able to use that pretty freely in Custom Edition, do whatever the hell you want with it, delete the whole thing, do whatever. The problem is, in MCC, we have every single scenario, campaign scenario, has these uh, these source files here, which cannot be removed um, once, once they're there. So, even, even if we were to make a new map and then save the scenario as, all of these campaign scripts would still be part of the scenario. And if we were, try, if we were to try and compile these, it would just throw tons of errors. Because it's looking for, the, it's looking for these in the original, with the original data path, which doesn't, this doesn't align. It, it, you need to get rid of these source files, that's the point. In order to have things work proper properly, and you can't you can like edit these in here. We can just like remove a, a huge chunk of this, but all of the scripts are going to be there, and it's just kind of annoying. And besides, if you're if you want to just like make small edits to a campaign mission, that you really don't need to worry about this. But if you just want like a, a little sandbox to play around with, and you like a certain BSP, then this is how you do that. So, in order to um, get this to work, we basically, we need to create an entire new scenario tag from scratch. And then we can just throw whatever BSP we want, we want in there. So, to do that, you go to your levels, where you would, where you would copy, um, where you would place the copy in Custom Edition. And you just create a new folder and name it whatever you want. Uh, we're going to do tut for tutorial. And then that's... That's it for creating folders. And then you open up Gorilla, go to File, New, and we're literally gonna make an entire new scenario tag. Uh, scroll down to Scenario here, click OK. Then, once that loads up, all we, re all we need to do to spawn in and get it in-game is just add one structure BSP. So you scroll all the way to the bottom, hit Add. Uh, hit those three dots to uh, find it and then you can navigate to whatever scenario to whatever bsp you want which uh, it's the uh, dot scenario underscore structure underscore bsp those are the files we're looking for so we'll just do the very first one on assault in the control room bsp 40a that's the i think that's the that's the meat of the map the biggest portion and that's all we need but i i think i'm gonna add a sky in here so um yeah we're gonna hit add on sky click uh click those three dots and um, there are there are uh, skies in a skies folder in the tags, but there are some levels that have an individual sky full file like this one. So we'll just go with that one. If it if it ends in a dot sky, you can use it. And then you got your type right here: solo, multiplayer. Um, we're gonna be using the MCC mod uploader to get these in. Um, to get these to show up alongside all of the base missions so we don't have to overwrite anything. But we're gonna stay with uh, we're gonna stay with solo because there's one more step in the MCC mod uploader when we do solo missions. It's basically creating a custom campaign. But once we're done with all that, add the BSP, add the sky if you want, choose your type, then you uh, save that tag, it'll give you this prompt, and then you navigate to the folder you created, tut, and then uh, you don't have to, but it, it's, safer to just name the scenario the same as the folder so you save that 
levels tut tut looks like rain and now all we really all we really need to do is open this in sapien um compile scripts and then compile it and then do mcc uploader stuff uh there is one more thing when you compile scripts it will automatically add a globals source file script to your scenario but that's not a problem because it'll all the directories will make sense everything will work and the globals script is just defining a lot of basic stuff but you'll you'll see it um we'll open this up in sapien quick compile all that stuff get it working so open sapien and place a spawner so we can actually run around in the map so uh where the hell am i here here tut and then tut that scenario the scenario tag we just created and it should just be a blank map of the first bsp in tube trails and you can you can add as many bsps as you want to your scenario tag you can you can have bsps from pillar of autumn from halo from the maw from keys you can have you can go fucking crazy it's just that transitioning between those bsps might be a little awkward but as you can see uh load it up no problem more than i can say for some other of these halo mod tools and it's just completely blank. It is a little bit awkward. We got some, uh, we got some shadows here and there from things that are supposed to be there, but or I don't even are those like, like battle marks, like, like plasma scorch. I don't know, but it's a little bit awkward seeing these these black spots. But hey, man, I mean, this is the only way I found how to how to get rid of those source files, so you can actually make like a clean slate scenario so anyway we're gonna just put the uh player spawn down here i'm gonna save this compile scripts um and as you can see right here if we if we did it the custom edition way this would be full of errors but right now it says um it's looking for this directory data levels tut scripts it's looking for that directory because we tried to compile scripts but yeah and it says successfully rebuilt one script that is referring to the global script that it automatically adds which isn't a problem. So we'll save again. And we don't need to be in Sapient anymore. At least for the basic tutorial. And then when we go back to Gorilla and open up that tag, there's gonna be global script, a globals script in there. With just the basic definitions for like players and st I haven't really looked through it, but nothing crazy. So we should see, also see the, yeah, here's the, the player starting location we placed and yep. The global script. It's just that, uh, yeah, it defines the player zero defines player one, um, player count. It just, there's some cinematic stuff in here, but it's, it's literally just a global script. So it doesn't do anything weird, at least from what I've noticed. So now, uh, now we need to compile. Whoa. Nope. And now we need to compile this uh, the, the old-fashioned way. Tool, build, cache, file, levels, tut, tut. And then for MCC, for Combat Evolve, you have to add classic or remastered at the end of it. Or remaster. I'm not sure which one. But classic. And it's just a stripped-down scenario, so it takes really... It takes no time at all and it's it's combat evolved so it takes even less time some of those some of those reach waiting times are a bit scary holy fuck but and then we got our tut map right here and now this is where halo mcc mod uploader comes in so uh before you even touch the mod uploader uh you want to make a just a halo mods folder where you're going to store every single mod you make and then also you want to you want to make your actual mod name. So we'll name this Tut, which is the actual the individual mod. This is just like a a storage for every mod. And then you want to make a folder for the actual mod. Now we open MCC mod uploader, which um, it should be it should be in your in your tools in your Steam tools library. So if you if you found your CE tools, you should find the mod uploader, like in like very very nearby and then uh if this is your first time opening accession which is the name of the uh tool you need to go to configure here 
and you need to, at this first one, the folder path, you need to browse to your Halo Mods folder, the, the container for all your mods, which mine is in Documents, and then My Halo Mods right here. So you cl just click that, select folder, and then that should be it. Get out of there. I'll refresh just to be safe. And then hit Create to actually create the mod. And then we uh, we specify the mod folder, not the not the container folder that we already specified, but the individual mod one, the tut the tut one. So uh, we go back to our our I have a oh shit I keep I always keep clicking things. Go back to your mod container folder, then you choose the individual mod. So ours is tut, and then select that folder, and then you can just uh, name it whatever the hell you want. Tut tut. Uh, this is this is also how you upload it to Steam. But if you just if you want to just have it personally, you don't need to worry about any of this shit. And then you come down to game title right here, Halo CE. Save this. Then should be good. Um, if you go in here, a campaign, a mod info thing should be created, which is why you had to specify this folder. And then we'll hit create on a campaign. We will save this, and then it should, no, yeah, we have to save this. Uh, the campaign, you can name whatever the hell you want. Save that. Now it created the campaign info file, and then we click add to add a mission to the campaign. And then from what I've heard, you want your mission title to be the same as the scenario name. So ours is, our scenario name is Tut, so this should be Tut. Um, I don't know if you need to do that, but that's what I heard. And then you just specify the directory starting in the tags folder of where your scenario file is. So levels, tut, tut. And you can add, you can add thumbnails. You can add a whole bunch of shit in here. And then uh, you just go back through all these, make sure all these are saved. Um, you can open up these JSON files, uh, the campaign. You can op open up the campaign JSON file, make sure you're uh, in under the campaign maps, your map is labeled is here. So campaign tut. And then you can go into the campaign, open the mission JSON and make sure the scenario file directory is correct. So levels tut tut, everything's working good. And now if we go into MCC or uh, yeah, if you go to MCC and try and go to the campaign, we should uh, find our campaign when we try and go and play the campaign. And I think multiplayer maps are, um, you should, you might have seen it when, when we created the campaign. There was a multiplayer's option below create campaign. I think like two options lower. And that's basically like creating a, a campaign mission. But I'll, I'll go back and just run through that quick. So uh, we did a solo one, so we want to go to campaigns. CE anniversary, and then we have, you can go, choose the built-in one, or you can choose the one you created. And then we go to missions. Ah, I forgot to put the maps folder, the map, the actual dot map file. Yeah, one last thing you have to do before you uh, go in here, you have to go back to your mod, your, your individual mod directory, create one more folder called maps. And then you have to move the map you compiled in Sapien to that folder. So tut dot map. The fuck did I hit Control X or what? Oh, I was hitting Control C. Then you go all the way back here, tut maps. Then you paste that in there, and then then it'll open. That's why the mission wasn't there. That's why when I was clicking on the tut campaign, nothing happened because it's, it was looking for a map. And it should be the, you should need to put your solo maps, your multiplayer maps all in that maps folder. And then all those JSON files and shit should specify what is what. And do not, uh, you cannot launch a solo map as a multiplayer map and vice versa, it'll crash. Tut, missions. Now it shows up because we put the dat maps file in, in the, the .map file in the maps folder. And it'll just be a, a stripped down version of uh, Assault on the Control Room.
the very the primary BSP, the primary section of the mission. So when we load in here, it's just empty ass mission. And I almost killed myself. That's nice. But yeah, um, and now now you can you can play around in this as much as you want. You can make as many custom scripts. You can make custom missions. You can do whatever the hell you want and not um, deal with those um, all those extra scripts from the campaign missions. If you want to use campaign maps, I don't. I, I multiplayer missions. I assume they have the global script since like you can't you can't compile a mission script and not get that. So I assume they have a global script. But oh no, wait, maybe. Maybe it's because I had this the type set to solo. Maybe that's why I created the script. But either way, it really doesn't seem to matter. If that global script is there, it's just it makes things easier, I guess. It defines what is what. I haven't actually tried to define I haven't tried to do any scripting in MCC yet, so yeah. But uh yeah, right here you got multiplayer maps. You hit add. Oh, you have to close out the extra stuff too. You hit add, and then it's it's just the exact same as doing campaign. You have the title, define the path to your scenario file. You have all this extra stuff, so it's basically the same. It's just uh, making a cam making a solo map. You have to create a campaign and then make a mission in that campaign. So yeah, uh, that should be that. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Pretty. It's it's pretty easy once you once you get the hang of it once you've done it a couple times it's really not hard, um, and it is pretty cool. You can I, I'd say custom edition. It is easier to just like load up a mission quick in custom edition. Just put in a quick console command. But you I haven't I don't think you can create an entire like other campaign like this, and based off how many. You can like make a mod, a mod, a mod, a mod. So you can have like 15 different campaigns for Halo Combat Evolved and all of them should show up. So, and you can add like 50 multiplayer maps. So this takes a little bit more effort, but it's also a bit more worth it. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this. Uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll run through it quick. So just the bare bones. So uh, to create a brand new solo map and multiplayer maps should be very easy uh instead of just copying a folder like you would for custom edition you would just make a you just make a blank empty folder title it whatever you want and then you open open gorilla then in gorilla you uh, make a new scenario tag you all you have all you absolutely have to do in order to load it up in sapien is just put a bsp but you can put a sky and the whatever else in there so then you load it up in sapien uh place a starting position save it compile it because you're gonna end up compiling it anyway i assume so you'll get the global script and then you um you compile the map scripts and then you compile the map with uh with the tool command and then after that you set up you set up all of the uh the halo mod stuff um Make a maps folder in the mods folder, in the mod folder, the singular mod folder. Put your compiled map in there. Make sure all the JSON files are working correctly. Everything's defined. Um, your campaign info has the map in there. And then after that, you should just be able to load it up in MCC. You click uh, campaign, Halo CE, and then you'll get your custom campaign. And for multiplayer maps, it should you should just need to go to multiplayer. I assume, yeah, I think Halo CE for multiplayer. And then it should be in the list of maps. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't too crazy. And, yeah, I guess I'll have to I'll have to move over to MCC completely now because I'm kind of out of excuses that, uh, that um, not being able to create new maps without overriding old ones was kind of my last uh, last excuse not to start using MCC, so I'm out of them now. But I've already started looking into Halo 2 tools and Halo Reach tools, so probably going to start doing some of those. But yeah, that's going to do it for this. So if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So thank you for watching.